Hey guys, what's going on? Dreamreaver23 here, and today this is going to be just a highlight episode of Fishing Planet. I'm going to be basically whenever, I'm going to be casting out and uh, reeling in. Whenever I catch a line, I'll go through and I'll, you know, enable the game. If you haven't checked out this game, or enable the recording, if you haven't checked out this game, this game is a free-to-play on Steam. It is a really, really cool game. Uh, nice and relaxing. You just fish. Uh, the, the graphics and everything like that look amazing. Uh, and it has different, uh, like, fishing techniques and styles you can do. Right now we're currently doing some bass fishing. We're using a uh, bass jig, quarter ounce, and um, we're a little bit higher up in there with the stuff that we can uh, get in there. I think we're like level five or six, but uh, you get levels and money based on your your fish that you catch and everything like that. Uh, currently, we the last fish we caught was a two pound um, largemouth bass. We are fishing right now in Missouri, so. But generally, you control uh, your mouse. Uh, left mouse click and your right mouse click. Your left cl mouse click reels. Your right mouse click um, is what's lifting the rod and then you have your you know control your mouse obviously uh, controls your character's rod <coughs> and the direction that it's facing. So it's a, it's a cool little game. It's definitely a really really nice fishing game. Uh, the realism and everything like that looks really nice and some of the fishing uh, some of the fights that you get in with the fish I guess if, for just bringing them in um, can take quite a while. The other day I caught a uh, eight pound trophy bowfin on a four pound test, which was kind of crazy and it took me all together about 15 minutes to get it reeled in, which was really cool. We did that one on a live stream. But uh, so I'm gonna just kind of like do the little highlights. So whenever I get a, a catch, I'll go ahead, oh, like that right there, see? <laughs> So we got a fish on, and he is dragging us out a good ways. Dang it. Oh, come on, come on. So, yeah, you want to make sure that you don't ha ma uh, overstress your reel too much. And that's that little uh, indicator that pops up right above the distance out. Um, this is a good sized little fish right here. We're wearing them out. It should be about two and a half pounds, 2.4 pounds, 2.3 pounds, something like that. I'm expecting uh, a bass. And some of you might, guys might not find this interesting at all or whatever, but... Uh, with so many different games that we play nowadays, it is nice just to go through and have a really, really well done fishing game. Um, as I said, you can get this game up on Steam. Let's see what we got. Ah, it's right at two pounds. One point nine 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 pounds, fifteen inch largemouth bass. So. Get rid of all of our sides right there. That's a nice, that's a nice fish. It's a nice fishy. I just realized that my backlight is not on back there. But yeah, so this is the game. Uh, so we're just gonna be doing basically a highlights of the uh, catches for the day. So uh, that one's a good start right there. We're gonna keep it and start casting again. I will kind of be bouncing back in and out. Caught a young largemouth bass, literally like, I don't know, it was like 12 feet out. <laughs> Keep it. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to fill up our, uh, if you look up top, which we just hit level 6, very nice. If you look up top, you see the time, 1.30 p.m., day 2 of 2, uh, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, overcast, uh, winds from the northeast at 4 miles per hour, fish hut, keep net, extra small, which is the fishing uh, tackle, I guess we're using the little fish keeper. Uh, we're trying to fill that up. And uh, when we fill that up, you know, you're going to get money off of that and experience overall. And then you go on the next level. You level up, you get more places that you can fish, you get more equipment that you can use and pick up. So that's what we're trying to do. All right, we got a fish on. Not sure what we got right now. Come on. 
If you see on the right, whenever it drops all the way down to like the tension on the line, if it drops and it's like flashing yellow at the bottom, it means we have negative space. And if it's like that for too long, it can uh, you can lose a fish. Definitely don't want that to happen. Hmm, 2.15 pound largemouth bass. Keep that. So you can see right here, uh, that is the star is the amount of experience gained for that. And so you have your experience bar down here. Like every game, once that gets up, you will uh, go on to the next level, level up. And then also, if we hit escape, we can kind of see nice little music in the background. But uh, you can hit here and see the fish. So this is the fish that we have in our net right now. And it gives you uh, value for them, right? So we caught the young largemouth bass that was worth 4 bucks. Um, we caught that one that we just caught was $12. Largemouth bass, largemouth bass. So those are both eleven dollars piece, and it shows you the XP. It shows what time you caught them. It was cloudy midday, uh, using a bass jig, quarter ounce. The weight, the length, and then uh, some info about them. Largemouth bass is a freshwater game fish native to North America, loved by anglers for the fighting excitement. Its body varies in color from green to blackish, and is marked with a dark horizontal stripe. Largemouth bass is usually found in quiet, weedy lakes and streams. So see, so you get some information on there behind it. Um, so yeah, I just kind of want to give you guys a little heads up what's going on there. You also have different things like the shops where you can go and you can buy different lures and baits and licenses uh, for different areas. Uh, you have the map. Uh, your backpack was what's on you, what you're using. So right now we're using this kind of setup. So yeah, it does have premium. You can actually buy uh, premium accounts and stuff like that if you want to. Uh, but it is like, like, like I said, it is a free to play. I'll have a link down in the uh, in the description if you guys want to check out this game. So those are our achievements that we've gotten right there. But an overall, just a really nice, relaxing, relaxing game. So I'm an, I am quite enjoying it. Let's get back to fishing. All right, got a fish on. Checking us out a little bit. Try to maintain that tension on there. So we don't get away. Give me a fishy. You're gonna fill in my belly. Eh, this would probably be right around two pounds. Ooh, dragging us out. Come on. So I know this game isn't gonna be for everybody, and I realize that. Some people might not like fishing games or like fishing in general, or find it boring, but it is. Definitely, in my opinion, a really nice set for the genre. You know, there's, I the last really good fishing games that I remember are games like Super Black Bass on the Super NES, stuff like that. And then like in uh, WoW and stuff like that, I always enjoyed doing the fishing. But granted, on there you got the fishing as you know a skill, and then you could go through and do uh, like uh, cooking and everything along those lines as well. This one, there's no cooking aspect to it, but they're going to be releasing an update here in a couple weeks. That will be introducing things like boats and walking around the whole perimeter of the uh, pond uh, and streams and stuff like that that you're on. So that'd be pretty cool. No, yeah, come on, no, no, no. Yep, there we go. All right, we got our fish in. What do we got? 1.968 largemouth bass. Got that 20 XP. We need to build that XP up. Go ahead and keep that. So yeah, I hope you guys do check it out. I do want to show you guys some of the other things in here. So we have, uh, our, this is the map we're on right now. We can go uh, into different spots. Right now we're currently at the uh, last songs of summer. If we click over here to the Pike Challenge, we can do that as well. Showed you our backpack, showed you the store. I do want to show you the different type of rods, reels, lines, uh, tools and equipment. So landing fish nets. Uh, your terminal tackle, so you have your hooks, different size hooks. Um, bobbers and stuff like that uh, lures you have uh, jig jig baits worm so these are different ones that are not available here uh, when it comes to brass jigs we actually have right now we're using the quarter ounce number two for the bass jig brass did I say brass jig I think I said brass jig hard bait lures we don't have any here uh, now whenever it comes we do have the casting spoons uh, currently we have the sixth ounce in our backpack. We have third ounce number ones we can get up here too. I wish we might buy one of these. 
just so we can use them. And then baits, you have common baits. So you have grasshoppers, small cut bait, bread, cheese, pet food, dough balls, red worms. And uh, as you as you level up, like you get higher levels, you're able to get uh, different types of baits, different types of uh, uh, lures and stuff like that, and catch different types of fish and bigger fish. Uh, Travis, one of the guys that's actually an admin over on the site uh, through the TeamSpeak server, he was telling me, and like I was watching him catch, and he was catching like 27, 28 pound gar out of these same areas that I'm fishing right now. He's a lot higher level for, than me, but still, it's like really cool the stuff that you can do and build on here. Um, then you have your profile. We showed that the fish that we've caught on board. So that last one that we caught was a uh, this one right here. So 11 bucks and 20 points. And then the top players. So you have uh, different leveling and stuff like that. Friends list, and then uh, different tutorials for the inventories and fireworks. Firework, what? You have some fireworks. Pref press F to use them. <laughs> okay, not really sure on that one. <laughs> Why not? So, so, I actually wanted to switch over to the Pikes Peak area. And you can join friends, and that's another thing too, is eventually what they're going to see, as you can see right now, I can walk around uh, the bank right here. And you can see that's the area we were at over there. You can see the... Uh, the yellow boat. Um, but right now, when you can join private rooms with other people and they're in the same chat. So over here behind me, you can see the chat right there. If we were in a private room or just like a one-on-one -on -one room, uh, you do that with your friends and then you can go through and you can basically just see each other's catches, what you're catching. Uh, eventually they are gonna be making it to where you can uh, be able to see the other player themselves. But that one is a little bit off. So let's get back to fishing. All right, got another fish on. Not quite sure what we got right now. One thing I do really enjoy about the game also is the uh, just environmental sounds. Holy crap, this guy's dragging us out. Come on, come back in. Come on. <laughs> now the environmental sounds on this is really nice. Uh, I do hate the bugs, like the gnats and stuff like that, because whenever they fly in, it sounds like they're flying into your ear. And it actually really bugs me. I'm just like, ugh, okay. So way too much time when I was younger uh, out fishing and having gnats and stupid mosquitoes and stuff like that fly in my ears. So yeah, definitely a uh, nice little game. We're fishing pretty much straight across right over there where the line's at right now. Come on. Let's get her in here. Super sweet. Ooh, we got a bowfin. There we go. Impossible to flay. Oh, we can't even keep it. That sucks. I don't know why we can't keep it. So there's our bowfin right there. Got some nice XP out of it, though. All right, I guess we'll release this guy. Meanie. <laughs> yeah, we're fishing right across over here, right about that amount of strength. Because if you cast too far, you'll actually end up landing on the on the uh, other bank, and it'll just be like, ah, no, invalid. So let's get back to fishing. So we caught a nice bowfin on that one, three pound. Not bad. All right, got another fish on. I did change the time of day to 8 p.m., which you can hit by hitting the T button. Ooh, where are you going? Okay. This one's a little feisty one. Probably going to be a young channel cat. Or a young uh, largemouth. Not putting up too much of a fight, though. Not dragging us out way out there. Dra 
dragging us out a little bit. Gotcha! What do we get? Largemouth bass. No? Okay. Cool. Yeah, so if you hit T, you can pull up and fast forward time, right? Can't go back, obviously, so I don't even know why they have that button on there. But I guess if you go like this, and then you can go back. So then we can hit cancel. Right now we have it at 8, 8 p.m. So you can see it's a little bit darker. You can actually adjust some of the settings and adjust the brightness. Uh, bobber size, invert mouse, dynamic water, high, anti-aliasing, put it on low. Look, fantastic. Okay. Anti-aliasing does seem to uh, clean up some of the sh sharper edges, if you will. Don't know if I like it though. Back to fishing. All right, guys. So I'm popping back in here. I did switch out my lures, and it just hit nine o'clock, and it's really freaking dark in this game. Surprised there's no uh, creepy sounds coming out of the woods. Got the moon over there. That's cool. Oh yeah, I'm fishing. <laughs> So yeah, um, I do want to show you some different uh, methods of fishing, uh, and so for that we'll finish out the day here pretty quick. Hopefully we'll catch something. I literally I just want to catch something to kind of fill up the rest of the uh, net, so we can finish the day. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll go back, leave the area, travel back to my home, uh, which soon they're going to be releasing home updates to where you have your own little home pond, uh, and you can set that up I guess wherever you want. Uh, me, I would set it up in my beautiful home state of Colorado. And uh, so with that, you'll be able to, um, when we go back home, we'll be able to check, take out and change out the rods and stuff like that because this rod is only set up for lures, so we don't have anything. But you can do bobber fishing. You can do, uh, um, you know, bottom fishing with the bobbers, things along those lines. So it is really dark. Let's see if we can cast out right about there. And just catch something on here uh, but with that uh, like with the update that's gonna be coming out I think next week it's going into beta uh, they're gonna be just testing that one it'll be a closed beta for that update and then it'll be coming out like the week or week and a half after that uh, after they get all their testing done so that'd be cool but uh, whenever you check it out you can with with the uh, game so you have certain times that are like for if you want to do catfishing catfish fishing yeah, there we go. Catfish fishing. Catfishing. <laughs> well, man, you just put a little bit of kibble on the end of a string and you just dangle it in front of a kitty cat and then you figure out what's going to happen. Uh, so with the catfish fishing, uh, you'll go with a bobber set. Uh, and then you can use, like, um, cheese or you can use uh, pet food, uh, bread. I mean, hell, whatever you want to use. Uh, set your leader up and then you just kind of go through and set it on the bottom. And there's a few different nice, nice little spots where you can do some decent catfish fishing. But the biggest thing is you're going to want to, um, you're really trying to gain experience. I mean, at this point in time, experience and cash is, is your bread and butter, if you will. And as you can see with uh, doing lure fishing, you have a few different methods. So right now you can see over there on the right side, it's got the lift and drop. And it's saying like two out of three. Um, and I think that's like attractiveness to the fish. Let's go right here. So with your different methods, you have uh, like the straight method, straight, slow. I'm trying to get them to work right. It's always different. Come on, give me the straight, slow. So lift and drop method lift it up with your right click and then like reel it in as you're bringing it back down it's a method I like to use a lot and you can kinda like see how your bobbers doing over there on the side way up there I don't know if we're gonna catch anything this late at night might have to finish the day out and not have a full net. 
That would make me sad. That would make sad dream. Sad dream sad. Um, now we should be able to go over here and... Uh, go with the straight method. So straight, slow. Of course, it's right there towards the end. All right, let's go ahead and finish up the day. Actually, we can just hit escape. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes. So that was a $59 net, 136 XP altogether, and 7 gold. No snags, no trophy fish. So we'll travel back to our home. And then over here you can go to the home spot. Uh, look at your different rods and reels at home. So we'll bring all this over here. Um, let's see. Seven pieces of nine. So this is a 20 foot three inch, 21 foot three inch. It's a pretty long pole. Set up our bobber. Dang it. Put the value of spin back on here. No. Was that it? That is going on. We have everything located, right? Yep. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so our mini spin 1200. Our line. Uh, we're going to set up. Our hook, we're going to go with the number 2 hook. Large hook, so we can try to catch a larger catfish. We need our oval bobble. Oval Bobber, which over here we actually have a different shop. So this shop right here, we can look at uh, just say Bobbers, and we did gain some levels, so we can pick up some different ones. <clears throat> so we're gonna pick up the Chubby. Oh, we need, uh, I think we need to be a level 16 for that one. All right, now it's at our home storage. Baits. Uh, we got maggots. And it tells you, like, target fish for maggots. Crappie, bluegill, pumpkin seed, red ear sunfish, and golden shiners. Grasshoppers. Uh, you can catch catfish off of uh, grasshoppers. Bloodworms. Small minnows. And then uh, some Molina balls, marshmallows, flies for bluegill and trout. Blood, that'll be catfish, but we have to be level 17 to grab those. Wax worms. So we get some different kinds. Red worms, I think, is what we're using uh, right now as a common base. Small cut bait. Let's pick up some cut bait. Pick up some more of these because they only carry 10 of them at a time. Alright, go back to our home. Now we are going to drop off these, because we can't use any lures with this rod. We're going to leave the, the bread here. Keep the red worms here. And then our small cut bait, that's what we want to bring over. And our chubby. We'll leave the oval back.
throw Chubby on here and set up our small cut bait. We're going to extend out our leader. I think we are good to go. All right. We're going to go back over. Wait, wait, wait. Emerald Lake. We've opened up Emerald Lake. That's a new one. Actually, let's check that out. We're going to check that out now. So this is a new area. We do need to get um, Florida, Colorado, uh, New York. Let's get a uh, basic three-day. All right, we'll get an advanced three-day, I guess, is what we bought. <laughs> Travel. Alright, I'm down. Let's check this out. So this right here is going to tell you, uh, with either spot, it's going to tell you the weather pattern, right? So we got sunny today, so the best time to fish is around noon, between noon and three. Yeah, I'd say about noon and two. Uh, and then on day two, day three, which we did a three day, so I kind of show the days that it's going to be, like the weather and everything like that. We do have a New York, uh, advanced New York license, which will be good until 2-9 at 3.26 p.m. All right, that's when we purchased it. So let's, let's go right over here at the dock. It gives you a little background behind on that little spot right here. Let's go fishing. Ooh. Ooh, very pretty. Nice and foggy. So this area, I'm not 100% on catfishing. So let's, uh, if you hit F11, it's going to bake it to where you can cast out a little bit. Drag our line in the water. Let's cast it right over here and just see what happens. Now we want our bobber to stand up because we've got a 99 inch lead on here. So see, that's too high. Too much of a lead, and it's dragon bottom. Now we can adjust our lead by hitting O and P, so let's actually adjust this down to about 80 inches. We'll do 82, 83, 83 sounds good. Get a nice cast out there. 60 foot out. We got it standing up, so that's good. We'll go ahead and let it kind of set right here. So whenever you're fishing catfish or whenever you're fishing with a bobber, you run different. So you're not always reeling it in. You just kind of let it set on there. Um, people are catching like northern pikes and stuff like that over here, so that's cool. And on this one, you kind of keep your eye on the bobber itself and then on the, on the right side way over there, you can see the little bobber symbol. And that'll kind of flicker and nibble whenever you get nibbles and bites, and it'll get drug under and all that other good stuff. So I will see if I can come back in whenever we get a bite. You gotta be very quiet. We're fishing. Shh. That's what you do when you're bored, right? Not with the game, but just waiting for a fish to bite. I think we're going to uh, try to pull in and and go either to a different spot or I want to see what it looks like through different times of the day. So we said about noon was a good time. Ooh, ooh very nice. It's a really nice looking little pond area. Not cast it out too far. Should be only about 20 feet, 28 feet. There we go. So we're setting mostly bottom right there. Uh, I don't know if we'll actually catch any catfish because of the time of day, uh, but we'll see. I'm not sure on this one.
Well, I mean, the bobber's moving, but I don't know if that's just the water moving the bobber. I'll come back in if we get a bite. Stupid bugs. Damn it! Get out of here, bug. All right, we're going to switch over to uh, fish, drop down our leader, or to fish, to cheese, drop down our leader to about, eh, we'll do 36 inches. And uh, let's actually move over to the other side. I want to see what this area is over here. Nice little walk-up spot. So one thing to keep in mind is if uh, you cast like this, it's going to do just a gen gentle cast. Puts it out about 30 feet, I think. 23 feet. Dream your 23. See, there it is. Numbers. Magic. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, and that one is uh, one way of casting it out, right? If you... Um, and you could totally fish just right here, no problems. Let's go ahead and reel it in. If you hit F11 whenever... Oh, strike. Really, I was getting a strike. If you hit F11, it goes through and it puts it out to where you can hold the mouse button down to cast. And that's how I'm doing that, guys. So we got this set about 36 inches. No, 30? Yeah. We got to set some inches down for our leader. And you can see the bobber out there, just chilling, doing its thing. Now we're gonna watch and see if we catch the fishes. We need to catch the fishes. We'll come back in. All right, we got a bite going. You can see the bobber over there on the right side, bobbing. Gotcha, whatever you are. Nothing too big. Probably crappie or something like that. Black crappie. See, that's seven experience right there. 11 inches, 0.6 pounds. So yeah. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And I caught it just right over here. I'm actually switched over to dough balls. Uh, it was in the shop as something that you could shop with. Uh, crappie typ typically like uh, lilies covered areas and stuff like that. So we got our uh, leader set to about 20 inches, 22 inches. What the hell are they doing outside? I don't know if you guys can hear that in the in the, in the thing, uh, in the audio. But uh, yeah, so I wanted to give you guys just a, uh, overall like a let's look at. So that's what this whole video has been about. I just kind of showing you guys some of the different games that are out there. This, like I said, is available free on Steam, and I'm, I'm blown away by it. I, the updates that they're going to be coming out with are really, really cool. They're going to be adding a lot of new stuff in there, and uh, they already have inside the distributable, inside the folder, uh, they have Oculus Rift kind of like support that they're working on. So when the Rift comes out, I mean, this will be a full-fledged fishing game that'll be freaking badass in my opinion. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this check on the game. We're going to be trying to catch another fish and see what we can do with fish. Yes? No. Okay, maybe. Yes, maybe. So let me know what you guys thought about the game or uh, if you have played the game. It's a free-to-play, so you're not losing anything and it's not a freemium to where you have to like spend tons of money to go through and get oh, oh, to get any kind of uh, cool stuff. You saw that? I, it wasn't just me, right? That was a bite. I saw a bite. Come on, fishy, bite some more. Maybe he likes me talking about freemium. Pay to win. Is that, no? That's not doing anything. Maybe they th thought that was like a trigger word. It's like, oh, they're talking about money. Money, I love money. Money, money, money. Oh, 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 oh. come on. Yep, got you. Yank you out of the water if I have to. Come on, buddy. What's up? Yeah, who's your daddy? Yep, gonna catch me another black crappie. What I got? Another black crappie right there. Ooh, that's a nice size, too. <laughs> So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you want to see some more of these games, that, you know, check out some of the free-to-plays and stuff like that that are out there. Or if you like the uh, like little highlights uh, kind of video, show them whenever we'll catch the fish. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me, hanging out. And uh, until next time, I'm DreamReaver23, reminding you to game happy. And I will see you all later. Bye, guys. Maybe if I push the right button. <laughs>